welcome to Shed 100 Pounds. I'm Francesco Alessio. As of my last weigh-in, I'm currently down 6.6 .6 pounds. Now here's a tip that may help you in your quest to get in shape. You know, there are probably a hundred quotes out there on creating successes in life using some sort of percentage figure. Like uh, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Well, I'm gonna create up my own quote. Being physically fit is 80% desire, 15% know-how, and 5% equipment and tools. Today's episode focuses on that last 5%. Why focus on such a small part of the equation? Simple, over the next 10 months, I'm gonna be giving a lot of tips and a lot of helpful information. But this one tip is so important to me, I don't think it can wait. I'm talking about a heart rate monitor and an application that will track and measure the associated data. I've been using a heart rate monitor for over a year now, and I love it. I think these devices are the single greatest development in the field of fitness. The operation is very simple. You put the chest strap on, open whichever fitness app you choose to purchase or download for free. Inside the app, there will be some sort of pairing setup that will enable your chest monitor to talk to your smartphone. But this process is easy as pie. Then, just work out. Put your phone in a place where you can see it or turn on voice feedback and you'll be audibly prompted as to which heart rate zone you're currently working in. It's these zones where the magic happens. By seeing which zone your heart rate is currently working in, you know exactly how intense you are working out. Personally, over the years, I've always worked out like kind of a madman, super intense. I was one of those douches who would lift very heavy weights while grunting and screaming in the gym. But science says you don't have to work out that hard to lose weight because fat burning requires oxygen. And for most people, especially out of shape people, that's going to be working out in zone two. Although I personally believe setting time goals for each zone is the most beneficial way of working out. So let's say you wanna work out for 40 minutes. Maybe start with a zone split where you spend 55% in zone two, 20% in zone three, 10% each in zones one and four, and 5% in zone five. Then track your fitness progress over the next two to three weeks and see how you're doing. If you're losing weight at the rate you think you should, then keep going with this system. If you hit a plateau where the pounds don't seem to be coming off, then adjust your percentages up or down for each zone. If you're really out of shape, you can start with 20% in zone one and 80% in zone two. But where you begin doesn't really matter. It's where you finish. The goals you can create based on this data is virtually endless. And to me, smashing goals and records is super fun. So get out and get yourself a heart rate monitor. There's a lot of them out there and you can ask my opinion on them but it'll be just that, my opinion, so take that as it is. But again, I'm Francesco Alessi, and remember, you can contact me using Twitter or Facebook at Shed100LBS. If this video was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next week when hopefully I'm down even more poundage.